Primus up they go at the first set of bounds. Fell at their feet, James is there, diving in Primus. He's over the ball, dragged down. There we go. Not completely unexpected, but they have to be careful. There was a feeling of heat in the game, so um, to me, it felt like enough to pay media free kick, whether he probably deserves it. Probably not. I think they just wanted to pay a free kick, and I was lucky enough to be somewhere near it. And yeah, fr free kick. And I was like, yeah, okay, what was that for really? They won the toss, they get the first free kick. First kick, there's a fight inside the centre square. Two players wrestle. Meantime, there's an opportunity. Burgoyne on the first. That would have been a classic start. I reckon I knew that we were going to win in that first five minutes because I think we had majority of the ball and you could just see we're really sharp. Um, but yeah, we were we were on for the game. Against McCarthy, Marcus Shooter crashes his way through the pack, drives it back, Lyles underneath it. Always been in good form and he takes a good mark. I sensed early in the game that we were always going to be a chance to win. Um, so that, that sort of just flowed through from quarter to quarter. And I knew that we had him on the ropes early. Tackle from behind, but wasn't aware of it, uh, holding the ball. Rusciuto, from half back, loses control of the ball, held a long time in the tackle, nothing doing. Bond in the opposite direction, rebound opportunity, they're caught out. Cummings has got it about 40 minutes from goal. Man runs onto the pocket, that's Wilson. When I took that ball inside 50, um, you know, you, you make out you're going to pass it to someone, and I'm going to. But it, it, this, from the moment I took it, and I was inside shooting range, I was having a shot. Wilson kicks hard and kicks Troy. The uh, goosebumps I got when I, when that went through off the boot, um, yeah, it was just an amazing feeling. It struck me that the side that settled best was Port Adelaide, which was a bit of a surprise. Adelaide, perhaps uh, because they were wearing the crown were a little off their game, but for me the biggest problem was Wanganeen. I mean, Wanganeen getting that ankle injury, if you'd asked me then to tip the winner, Wanganeen is one of the great players, I think, of all time. So when Wanganeen went down, I thought, Port have got a problem. McLeod drives it back to Wanganeen, oh gee, oh, he's hurt there. He is in trouble, Gavin Wanganeen. This is rotten luck, he is in agony, riding on the ground. Oh look, when you see your skipper go down and a Brownlow medalist go out of the game, it's, as a young squad, yeah, it takes a, sort of knocks you back a bit. Well, they might have to take him off, they do, or that would be a huge loss to Port. When you see your captain go down, especially someone like Wangers too, it was just you know, an inspirational player to, to, and to all of our young guys too. I mean, they just stood tall when Wangers was out there. To see him go down, I reckon it knocked us around for a little bit until we probably regrouped and said, all right, we're, we're a man down. It's even going to be harder for us. How, much, you know, how good is this wing going to be now? Two youngsters, Johnson and Lockwood. A veteran Rusciuto gives it away though. Brewer, question of accuracy, runs in and slots it. Cummings, and he's second. I'll tell you what, he's got it. Whoa, coming unraveled at the present time, the Adelaide Crows. The sacrificial lambs are savaging the butcher.